Gold Rush Update In the unpredictable world of gold, mining where fortunes rise and fall like, the undulating Klondike terrain one man has emerged as a resilient force to be reckoned with Rick N.E.S. the indomitable. Mine boss has once again etched his name into the annals of gold rush history as he mines his way to a record-breaking million dual season in the heart of season. 14. The journey began in season 9 when Rick N.E.S. stepped out from the shadows of his former boss Parker Schnabel to lead his own crew, undeterred by the challenges that loomed. NES proved himself a formidable force, extracting a commendable 115 ounces of gold in his debut solo, season a testament to his grit, and determination season 10 saw NES facing the ups and downs of the gold mining, roller coaster ultimately breaking even, with a respectable haul of 547. Oh, however, it was in season 11 that he truly hit his stride overcoming setbacks to clear a staggering 2 million in gold mining a remarkable 1,080. Oh, the season marked a turning point for NES, who acknowledged the steep learning curve of being a mind boss undeterred by past obstacles. Season 12 saw Rick NES setting an ambitious goal of 2,000. Oh, a target that seemed insurmountable as he began the season without a complete crew. Unfazed NES ramped up his operation, employing massive half-million doll equipment, and against all odds he achieved his goal mining an impressive 247. Oh, however, the tale took an unexpected twist in Season 13 when Rick NES, grappling with seasonal depression and personal challenges made the difficult decision to step away from the show, leaving fans wondering about his future. In the gold-rich wilderness now after a hiatus from the world of gold exploitation and recovery, Rick NES has made a triumphant return in season. 14 in a bold and daring move he sold his mother's house to finance the resurrection of his mining. Venture starting with limited funds, NES pieced together a makeshift operation using second-hand equipment and sheer determination to get back in the game as the current season unfolds viewers find themselves captivated by Ness's tenacity and the unfolding drama of his quest for gold halfway through season 14 he has already mined an impressive 46,121 oak hinting at the potential to surpass the coveted 1,000 to 2,000 ounce mark by the season's end Rick. Ness's journey from a rookie miner to a season mine boss is nothing short of remarkable the fact that he achieved a significant milestone of 115 in his first solo season is a testament to his dedication and hard work breaking even in season 10 might not have been the massive haul he aimed for, but it showcased his resilience in the face of Challenges in Season 11 NES and his teams recovered of $2 million in gold, highlighted their ability to bounce back from setbacks learning from the roller. Coaster experience of being a mining team boss NES consistently improved, ultimately reaching an impressive 1080 o. The pinnacle of Ness's career came in Season 12 when he set an ambitious goal of 2,000 ounces overcoming crew setbacks and utilizing heavy-duty equipment he not only achieved his goal but surpassed it, mining an astounding 2047. Ounces this achievement firmly established Rick NES as a force to be reckoned with in the gold mining industry the hiatus during season 13 due to personal issues showcases the human side of Rick. NES however his strong return in season 14. Even selling his mother's house to fund his venture demonstrates his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of gold mining. 46,121 in the first half of season 14 indicates that NES is as well on his way to surpassing his own expectations once. Again, Rick Ness's journey is a testament to the resilience, determination, 
and continuous learning that defines a true gold miner his achievements not only speak to his prowess in the field but also inspire others to persevere in the face of adversity as Rick NES continues to navigate the challenges of the Klondike. His story remains a compelling narrative of success born from passion and grit as a dedicated viewer of Gold Rush. Witnessing Rick Ness's journey has been nothing short of inspiring his resilience in the face of adversity and determination to carve his path in the unpredictable world of gold. Mining has left an indelible mark, Rick. Ness's evolution from a rookie miner, navigating the challenges under Parker, Schnabel's guidance to becoming a mine, boss with his own crew is a testament to his tenacity. What stands out the most is his ability to learn and adapt evident in each season's progression the setbacks faced in season 10, the triumphant success in season 11, and the audacious goal achieved in season 12 showcase a man who not only embraces challenges but conquers them. Ness's decision to step away during Season 13 grappling with personal issues humanizes his journey reminding us that even the toughest faces trials his bold return in Season 14 marked by a significant personal sacrifice underscores his passion for gold mining and determination to reclaim his former glory watching Rick NES mine his way to a record-breaking $2 million season in season 14 feels like cheering for an old friend, and it's a testament to his unwavering this spirit in the pursuit of. Thank you for watching this video.